Hey guys, how's it going? This is Helpful Lock Picker here. In the video I have for you today, we're going to try to decode this little combination lock. We're going to see what it takes, and let's get started with it right now. Alright, so let's see what it takes to decode this little lock here. What I've done is I've made it 1111 going across. You can see the little indicator right here. I don't decode a lot of locks, but I do understand the basic principles. So we're going to see what it takes to get this one open. So I'm going to apply some shackle tension, and then I'm going to try to find what the difference between each number feels like, and there's going to be one distinct difference which would indicate the gate that you need to be in to get the lock open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull on some tension and see what each combination feels like. So starting with one, I'm getting a fair amount of movement, and then I'm going to try to fair amount of movement, three, less movement, four, good amount of movement, five, whole lot of movement, six, decent amount of movement, one had a really nice little click in there, but it's still wiggling around. So I feel like I'm going to be feeling for where it moves the least. Which three just feels like it's locked in place for the most part, unless I force it. So we're going to stick with three for the first one. And now I'm going to try to manipulate these discs independently, the combinations here. So three... I mean, two feels loose, three feels kind of loose, four feels kind of loose, five's really loose, six is tighter, one's very loose, two's very loose, three's very loose, four's kind of tight. We're going to try four. Now let's move over to two right away feels kind of tight and just had a really nice thuddy feel to it. Three feels loose. Four feels loose. Five feels loose. Six feels loose. One feels loose. All right, so two just had a very weird feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but it just kind of felt like it thudded into place, like it's in the right gate, and it's very small amount of movement. So I'm just going to roll with that for right now. Now let's see. One. Loose. Two loose. Three loose. Four had a pretty cool thud, but that feels really loose. Five feels kind of loose. And for all I know, I'm on the wrong track here. But I've definitely been able to distinctly tell the difference between a loose number and a tight number. For instance, six feels like a tight number. But all of these feel like tight numbers, and the lock didn't open up. So let's just see if there's one I'm not very confident on. Two feels tight. I mean, four might be a little loose. And that settles it. Four was not the right number. I think if I remember back correctly, it was in slot two that I was contemplating on a second number, and that must have been, what must it have been? What is our combo? Six. So it looks like the combo to this is going to be three, six, two, six, and we're going to see if there's any false gates in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the inside, but looking straight down, I only see one channel here. 
And once you have everything lined up correctly, that channel opens up and nothing's going to block you from being able to pull this in and none of the teeth here are going to be engaged. So either way, this was a pretty cool little lock to decode. The combination was 3626. This is a little lock I found at my parents' house and they didn't have the combo too, so I said I could give it a go. But either way guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. This was a really cool different thing to do. I don't do a lot of decoding videos and I had a lot of fun doing it. As always guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you all have a great day and thank you so much for checking this out.